Hi, Horror Movie fans. Well, this isn't the House of Horror Review, but I did realize I'd watched a film that some of you may enjoy, and I could review it here. So, this is good news. And that film is American Mary, as the title says. This is directed by the Soska Sisters. I may have gotten that wrong. I apologize in advance if I did. It was released in 2012, and it stars, I love her, Catherine Isabel. Uh, to start... I will do my best not to have spoilers in this review, and yes, I'm in my workout clothes again, so I apologize. Keep calm and kill zombies, is what it says. Oh, but anyway, let's get back on track. I'm going to try not to spoil anything, go into the review, tell you a bit about the film. I really enjoy this film. I've watched it a few times, and that was when I was like, ding, I could do a review for this one, because I really liked it. So, without further ado, American Mary. American Mary is about a medical student, um, Mary Mason, I was looking up her last name, but she's a surgical student, and she's very good at what she does. She excels in her class, but her instructors are not very kind to Mary. They're kind of um, rude, always call her out, you know. Um, she is broke, doing what she can to survive, um, as any college student knows about. One day, because she is absolutely broken, her family can't help her. Sorry, there's a sticker on the box. She decides that her ultimate recourse is to get a job. And you can tell how innocent she is. She goes to get a job at a strip club and brings a resume. Because she is that innocent, that genuine of a person. She goes to the club, and when she's being interviewed and showing off the goods, um, there's an incident. She's asked for assistance to no questions asked, five grand, heal up someone who's been wounded, and she can go about her life as always. Reluctantly, she's very nervous about doing this. She actually gets sick after she's done. She does what is asked of her, takes the money, and runs. She leaves with no intention of turning back. Unfortunately for her, her resume is left behind. Before she knows it, she's contacted by people who are into body modification and such. She reluctantly enters into doing such things because it's good money. It's fast money. She can do it. There's an environment in which it, she can perform her procedure. She usually uses the club. Um, and it's, it's fast cash for, for Mary, poor Mary, who's doing the best she can to survive. One day, the instructors at her school invite her to a party that is going on. She's very excited by this because she's worked so hard and she's not been recognized and she just wants to fit in. She goes to this party, something bad happens, and that innocence is not gone per se, but it's boxed away and hidden because she just can't deal with what has transpired. Therefore, she leaves medical school and pursues a career underground as a surgeon. That's all I'm going to say. Because I, I want to go into more, but it will really ruin the film. So, yeah, th that's American Mary. I love the acting in this film. I love the characters in the film. I love the atmosphere of the film. It is filmed very beautifully. has some beautiful shots, a little bit of creepiness. But ultimately, this is a piece, although it is horror, I would classify it as horror, it's also a character-driven piece about Mary, about what she goes through, what she endures, what she has to deal with to survive. And although she's doing it in her own way, it's not necessarily the best way. Um, things begin to escalate. There are those who take note that something is going on, and you have the film as it goes into other darker places. I really recommend this film. A friend of mine told me about it, and I waited for a long time to watch it. I don't know why, but I enjoyed it so much that I actually bought it on Amazon. Um, you can buy it on Amazon, put it in your cloud drive. I bought the Blu-ray. I thought it was that fabulous. So, if you have not seen American Mary, I really highly recommend this. Now, the, the directors of this, the Sosta Sisters, did... Um, Dead Hooker in a Trunk. I've not seen that one. I've heard it's kind of, it is what it is, low budget and whatnot. I am going to see it, though, because I've seen this one and liked it. But they have done other work, and if this is any indication with the budget of what they can do, they are going to do great things. So, if you've not seen America Mary, definitely 
give this one a watch. I think that those that liked, um, oh goodness, I think Audition, is that the name of it? I can't recall. It's been so long since I've watched movies. It has that kind of feel. There are some slow burn moments, but then when it hits you, it hits you hard. And it's just, once I've watched it, I couldn't stop thinking about it, replaying the scenes in my head. That kind of film. So, yeah, there you go. A review for America Mary. I have some horror films. I'm not lying. I've, I've stacked them up to review. I'm going to watch at least one this weekend. I have to review for the House of Horror. However, they review a lot of the more modern, well, not modern, but newer releases and whatnot. And they do old stuff, too, and foreign. Um, but I will try to do something. Anything they reviewed there, I can't review there, so I'll review here. So hopefully I'll be back with a review for one of those soon. So here you go, as you've asked for, a review. America Mary, check it out. I will leave a trailer and a IMDB for you in the description bar below. As always, thank you for your support and your time and your comments. I really appreciate them. I'm on six minutes. I don't want this to go on too long, so I'm going to go now. But thank you again. I hope you enjoyed the review, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.